Howdy y'all, Fuzzy Biker here. We're at Baxter Cycle and look what we have today. Isn't it's it? a 350 Royal Enfield 350 Classic. This is Halcyon Gray, they call it, although it looks blue to me. But uh, just an absolutely gorgeous machine. Every little detail is just phenomenal. We'll go over everything here in a minute. Just let that soak in. Look at all the chrome, all the classic touches that go way back. Just a little bit of everything everywhere. I just love it. I'll start with the engine. Let's go to the other side. It's a 349cc single cylinder, dual valve, two valves, you know, one intake, one exhaust. It's fuel injected, overhead cam. It's got a counter balance shaft, so it smooths out as you give it the gas. It's got a nice feel when it's at low RPM, and the more fuel you give it, the smoother the bike runs. Just an absolutely classic looking thing. And look at that large chrome exhaust pipe. I think they're rated at about 19 or 20 horsepower and just about the same amount of torque. Coming over to this side, it's got the uh, five-speed transmission. It's all you really need. And look at that shift lever. I always point these out because they're cast, they're not stamped. Just an absolutely gorgeous looking engine. Very classic looking. If you're familiar with the old uh, Royal Enfield Classic 500, well, this has a lot of the look of that. They really did a good job. It's air-cooled, by the way. Electric start. I mean, look at this detail here. A metal oil cap, you know, most bikes have plastic. Uh, the clutch assembly there for adjustment, this is a clutch basket. But yet over here, you also have clutch adjustment over here. With my Royal Enfield uh, Himalayan has it on the bottom, but not on the top. So this is a very nice, nice thing. I love the classic look. This, this uh, cover here with the uh, bump up for the starter looks, you know, they've been doing that for forever. Um, this looks like the unit for the transmission, but it's actually a chain car, chain cover. Just a very good, very good, uh, very well done, very classic looking thing. Um, wheelbase on this thing is 54.7 inches. And uh, that's a very short, very nice, nimble, but yet stable wheelbase. Uh, weight for this motorcycle with a tank of gas is supposed to be about 430 pounds. And I've driven this bike. I won't be driving it today because I broke my shoulder. But I've driven this bike and uh, it feels nothing like that. As a matter of fact, I would be, I'd like to weigh one because it just, it feels 100 pounds lighter than that. I already mentioned the five-speed gearbox. A very low 31.7 inch seat. I don't know what that is in millimeters, but I'll, I'll put that down below. But uh, when you sit on this bike, it doesn't feel that tall. And I think one of the reasons for that is it's a very narrow motorcycle. You know, where your legs go, it's very narrow. If you look at that. Um, the... Uh, gas tank is I think I think I read 3.4 gallons of fuel and the bike is supposed to get about uh, I think 79 or 80 miles a gallon so you know very good very good indeed comes in several colors this is the halcyon gray like I said earlier just let that soak in so let's go to the front starting with the brakes the uh, disc on the front and this has ABS front and back. The disc on the front is a 300 millimeter Bybree setup. Look at that, very good looking. You can see the ABS ring on it. Um, drilled disc. It's got the dual, dual piston capular. The caliper floats, two pistons on one side. And then on the rear, it's a 270, which is a very large disc. 270 millimeter uh, single pot, single piston, floating caliper. There you can see the floating system. Very nice system. Dual channel ABS, of course. So, uh, just, I wanna start with just, first off, metal fender, metal cover. I don't know what that is. <laughs> you know, everything is, a lot of metal on this bike. Very, very well done. Very classic looking, you know, everything. Look at the stripe here with the Royal Enfield built into it. Just an absolutely gorgeous little detail. You know, that carries over from the front. Look at this on the front here. And of course on the side. Now these, this is actually raised lettering. If you run your hand over that, it's, it isn't just a little, it's a lot. It's very prominent. Got the little knee pads, you know, and this beautiful color tank. This is a very well done. So we've got these, you know, this gorgeous brake, the spoke rims, the uh, covered forks. I think they're 41 millimeter forks, by the way. They're covered, so you, you know, you don't have to worry about uh, bugs and stuff like that and getting in your seals. Uh, jumping up here, we've got this little cover here that covers the uh, whatever's under here. 
And that's the thing that, uh, on their older bikes, they had this too. And I think that's a throwback thing. Got the eyebrow over the chrome rimmed headlight. And of course you got the tiger eyes, little tiger eyes. Isn't that just a really nifty touch? That dates back to forever on these bikes. Got this neat little cowling right here. Very well done. Uh, jumping back at the tank with the knee pads and the good, you know, the good color and of course the metal cast cap. Just very well done, of course. This looks like an air cleaner. I think the air cleaner is actually below this. It's a fuel injected bike. Normally you'd have the carburetors here, but here they have the throttle bodies. You know, just a really nifty thing. This reddish brown seat. It's a two part. Now when I rode this bike, I found myself sitting here okay, but I was still able to slide back, slide back very well. Uh, chain drive, of course. More efficient that way. Uh, something I always point out on these, I always look at on motorcycles or the kickstands. And I like this one. Look at the style. It's very well done. It's a good looking. It isn't just a piece of steel with a welded end on it. You know, very well done. And of course the bike comes with a center stand. Which, you know, every motorcycle should in the old days. They almost always did. Huh? I think all Royal Enfield models with the exception of one have uh, a center stand. Very large foot pegs, which by the way I feel are very comfortable. I don't, that's something I actually would not change. Front and back. And look at this front brake pad. I mean that's just very very large again. Just love it. And of course, you know, the big exhaust pipe, nice chrome. Gorgeous looking. Didn't I just look at that angle right there? The pipe, the shock, the just everything, the tail. You know, here, you know, this is where your license plate goes, and here's this rubber pad to keep the thing from vibrating. Who does that anymore, right? Just a gorgeous system. Gorgeous system. Coming up here, we have the dash. And uh, when I turn that on, which you see there's a battery light, ABS light, engine light, fuel light. Um, fuel gauge is LED, LCD right here. There's two trip meters, uh, a clock. I don't know if there's a gear indicator. I think there is a gear indicator. Actually, let's put it in gear and see if we can get it to do anything. Now we can't. I can't start it because I only... Well, anyway. Um, I think it's a very good looking thing. We talked about the blank before. Uh, one of the theories is that there's going to be a nav option for this here. I've talked to the dealer about that. They say there is not at this point. Uh, I love this, just the way the whole thing looks. We've got the light switch, high and low, and it's got a flash to pass option. The <laughs> horn down there. The LCD control is right here. A little button right there. You can control the AB trips and all that neat stuff. Uh, something I really like about these bikes are the high quality. Look. I mean, look at that. That isn't just a stamp piece. That's a very nice looking lever, very beefy. I like it a lot. And uh, going over here, let's see, I'm going to turn that off. It's a rotary kill switch, so kill switch, run switch, and then the start switch. And the uh, red color is actually a throwback to days gone by. That was a, a color they used back in the old days. So that kind of, you know, another tie into the past. And of course these nice chrome mirrors. And these things here, which are covers for the hardware, they're also, in, in the older days, they would they had these vibrating things that absorb vibration, and those kind of mimic that look also. Another thing to point out, these hand grips, they look like the old Amal hand grips from days gone by. So a lot of, a lot of classic touches with the older uh, motorcycles. Just a gorgeous looking machine. Of course, the spoke wheels. Just a beautiful thing. Look at that tail light. Just, just a beautiful, beautiful machine. And look over there, what is that? <laughs> Anyhow, if y'all are interested in anything like this, uh, you, new or used Royal Enfield or Triumph, Baxter Cycle is the place to go. They have a whole mess of, uh, well you can't see them now, a whole mess of classic motorcycles also. They have a whole room, I call it the magic room because it's full of uh, antique uh, Triumphs, BSAs, British bikes of all types. But anyway, if you're interested in something like this, give those guys a call, Baxter Cycle, tell them Fuzzy Biker sent you. Now, I can't ride this today because I busted my shoulder, so I can't ride a motorcycle for a while, but uh, next time we'll take one for a ride. I have ridden them before, they're gorgeous. Anyway, you need to get yourself out and ride. Life is good. Wahoo!